Hi everyone, Land Assistant here, and here is our visual math for today. This is the formula for the sum of the first n odd numbers. Have you ever wondered why is this the formula? In this video, I'm going to show you the visual derivation of this formula. Let's begin. Let's start by writing down the sum of the first n odd numbers. We have 1 plus 3 plus 5 until 2n minus 1, where n represents a counting number. Here, our n is 1. Here, our n is 2. Here, our our n is 3, and here our n is n. So if n is 3, the form 2 times n becomes 2 times 3 minus 1, which is equal to 5, that's why we have this 5. And to get this 3, this is represented as 2 times the value of n, which is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, minus 1 is 3. So the main question now is, why is this the formula? Let's investigate. Let's start by representing this 1 as 1 square, this 3 as 3 squares, this 5 as 5 squares, 7 as 7 squares, and 9 as 9 squares. Let's remember that our n is 5 because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 odd numbers. Now, let's rearrange the square so that we can have an L-shape formation. So 1 is represented this way, 3 is represented as an L-shape figure, 5 also an L-shape figure, the same with 7 and with 9. Since we want to find the sum of these 5 odd numbers, then let's combine them all together. This is 7 plus 9. This is 5 plus 7 plus 9. This is 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9. And finally, 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9. We form a square, and this square is a 5 by 5 square. And look at the value of our n. n is equal to 5. So if we know that n equals 5, we'll be able to find the sum of these 5 odd numbers by just simply squaring 5. Because 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 equals 25, and that's very clear in our number of squares here. And since this is a 5 by 5 square, then another way of counting all these squares is just to multiply 5 by itself, or square 5. And that is now the reason why the sum of the first n odd numbers is computed by just squaring n, where n represents the number of odd numbers that we are summing up. As an application, Let's say you're asked to find the sum of 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus until 17. Here, we do not know what's the value of n. But we can compute for the value of n by just using this form. 2 times n minus 1. And since 17 can be written as 2 times 9 minus 1, it follows that our n is equal to 9. And therefore, the sum of these consecutive odd numbers is equal to 9 squared, which is equal to 81. And so, this is now our visual derivation of this formula. Thank you very much, and if you like more videos like this, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our videos. And for more videos like this, here is our recommended video.